here's a photograph that possibly illustrates your attitude towards Ronan uh, when you're when at the time uh, time and place. But can you contextualize that for us in terms of what's going through your head there? <laughs> Take your time now, Johnny. We've got all all minute. I know he's over in Paris sitting, having a cup of Barry's tea with Jessica watching this because <laughs> uh, I would have been with him if I was still in Paris. But, uh, yeah, look, I suppose that's one of the regrets I have in my career. Well, I have a few regrets, but that's one of them that uh, I had so much respect for him as a player. I, I didn't know him as a person, but we had a little bit of a, a few words in the fixture beforehand and that got carried over. I bottled it up, and as I do, and uh, sort of let it come out in that moment. Mm. Um, but it, like I said, it didn't show the respect that I had for him and you know, all that he had achieved. And I was really just a young kid chasing him, trying to aspire to be like him. And I let myself down a little bit in that, in that moment. Really? But, uh, a lot of the Munster players have said they respected me afterwards for it because it was a very Munster thing to do. So it was probably the little bit of Kerry in me that got me into that trouble. But, uh, <laughs> Is that, it's, it's a Munster thing to do, not a Leinster thing to do? Well, probably not back then. Um, you know, we were... I suppose serial underachievers at the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it didn't reflect well. It was on the front of the paper for the next few days, and I think my mum was more disappointed than anyone. But uh, you, don't like want I said, you don't want that in your life. Uh, no, certainly no. don't. Uh, and like I said, it didn't show the respect that I yeah. genuinely held. Like my father grew up a Munster supporter, um, so I was always left to know in certain terms who was better between O'Gara and Humphreys, and so I always grew up modelling myself on Ronan mm -hmm. and. Uh, but you, you sound like you're slightly beating yourself up over it in a sense. But actually, if you look at it again, it's heat of the battle stuff, isn't it? I mean, you're in the Coliseum, it's your gladiators, and that's what you do, isn't it? Yeah, heat of the moment. Yeah. And it's something that I'm still trying to get to grips with, you know, controlling the, those emotions in, in battle. Is that, is that hard? Is it hard? Yeah, to control those emotions. Of course it is, yeah. You're, like you said, you're playing in front of 80,000 people exactly. who desperately want to win. Um, you want to get one over on a guy that you're, you know, trying to take his place and um, how do you control it I, I don't know I'm still trying uh, <laughs> it's not going very well either um, but I'll get there one day the 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 kind of ongoing competitiveness slash aggro with you and Ronan as it was was that a media invention or was it heartfelt you're smiling to suggest it's the latter but I'll let you answer no it went through phases I suppose you know it started off badly as you can see um, then we spent a hell of a lot of time together in Irish camp. You know, there's just the two of us going kicking every Wednesday on our day off. Yeah. Um, started off with me looking out one window, him looking out the other. No words being spoken. And eventually we just warmed it. We never sat down and sorted it out. You know, men don't do that. We just bottle it up and eventually it'll sort itself out. Um, yes. And it did. And, yeah. uh, he and what's your status now as a couple? I mean, given... <laughs> Given the way it sounds like I'm hearing about it, a great romance of our times it, that kind of went pear-shaped and back again. Yeah, and that's what Paul O'Connell uh, gives a terrible uh, slagging over it. He Why? does call it school. Because uh, for this reason... What does he call I, you? I can't do an interview without talking about Ron. What does he call you? Uh, well, like, he's just like, when are you going to do your next interview about Raj? And when's Raj going to do his next interview about you? And yeah. I'm sick of it. Raj is sick of it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cute. Um, <laughs>